everyone, it's Ashley and today I'm going to show you a kit I made with some of my favorite Jenny Bolin Studio products. Um, I love Jenny Bolin's items and I tend to keep them on their own rather than mixed in with my rest of, rest of my supplies like I do with um, a lot of the other um, scrapbook companies out there and I find that that means that even though it's great to have them all together and I find it very inspiring to be able to look through all my JBS stuff together that it's also easy to neglect so it's been a while since I've pulled out some Jenny Bolin stuff to work with so I thought I'd put together a little kit of my absolute favorites um, colors and patterns that I find very inspiring right now and keep all this stuff to the side and I try to work through some layouts this month so I'm going to show you what I chose and why I chose. Okay, so to start with, I looked through all of my papers and I found some favorite papers by Jenny Bolin. I found a um, embossed polka dot cardstock, this wonderful popular flora from the Magpie um, series, a nice um, ledger that uh, I always find ledgers useful pretty yellow kind of farmhousey kind of print. I don't remember which collection this is from, but I love the yellow and the with white flowers. And then very similar, it might have been from the same collection, I don't remember. Pink with a little bit of pastel blue and a little bit of red. Another floral print. Um, oh, I just tossed some white cardstock in there because I do like white cardstock. This is one of the new exclusive papers that have been coming out this year with the Jenny Bolin Mercantile kits. So this one's from the March 2013. It's designed by Lisa Dickinson. And it has this great tone-on-tone -tone teal diagonal stripe with just a little tiny bit of white distressing through it. And then the back side is um, a pale blue distress with a little bit of floral print around the edges. But I really love the colors in this um, teal diagonal stripe. So that's why I pulled up that one. And then from the same March 2013 JBS um, Mercantile kit, a really nice yellow floral. This is one of Jenny's um, floral patterns from an earlier release but just printed and a new nice buttery yellow on white. And then the back side is also really awesome. It's white alphabet on um, the same buttery yellow. So I actually really like both sides of this. Um, so I kind of wish I had two. But I only have one and I'm going to use it. And then a nice little sort of vintage. This reminds me of old quilt fabric. Little kind of flower kind of print such as tone on tone yellow with these little dark kind of stem or leaf patterns. It's not a double sided paper. And then one of her die cut um, bank note papers. I love those for layering. They're perforated so you can cut them apart too easily. A nice text. That one's a little grungier than some of the other ledgers. One of these fabulous die cut ones. This has pink polka dots in the middle and I just, I really like those. Um, another text, but this one is a little creamier and this one is a little browner. So depending on the colors of my layout that I'm working on. So this is from her Modern Mercantile line that just came out in 2013. And this side has this cool layered floral pattern on yellow and white stripes. And the back has these little kind of card or tile looking prints with these yellow flowers that are on this side. Um, so I really love this bright buttery yellow color. And then this is from also again from Modern Mercantile. And this side has this cool kind of retro tiled floral pattern. And the back has these little minty green posies. Here's a part sheet of a red and white, um, red on cream polka dot. And a piece of vintage um, ledger paper that came in one of the kits. So these are kind of the colors. Let me pull them so you can see them colors that I chose for my little do-it-yourself kit this month. Um, these are quite summery and springy just because that's what I'm feeling influenced by with a little touch of some darker vintage looking pieces. Okay, and next I went to letters, um, letter stickers. I chose grey, two sheets of those, and red because I do like contrast of red up against some of these paler sheets. A new sheet of her rub on these awesome grungy black rub ons and then some little ledger style um, letter stickers and mini tile ones. 
Okay. And then what else? And then I went for sticker embellishments. So I like these little cards and these fun little buttons and tabs are great for layering. Some little banner stickers that are awesome. These fun little vintage labels. They're fun just to tuck in somewhere. Labels. I think I've gone through several sheets of these pale blue um, la label stickers. I really love them. Then I found some little bits and pieces from, left over from other projects. Some of um, these die cut banknote pattern paper pieces. I just had some left over and I really love to use those for layering. Uh, vintage beautiful cabinet card from one of the GBS Mercantile kits and I haven't used it so I'm putting in this kit and I'm going to give myself permission to use it. It's so beautiful but it's going to be awesome on a project. I've been kind of saving it because I really wanted to use it in a mini album but I don't have any mini albums planned right now so I'm thinking I'm going to put it there and I'm going to try to use it. Okay, let's see. And then I just found lots of little journaling cards. These were a pack. These little rounded ones were from a pack released in CHA 2013. They're nice little ledger and notebook cards. And then from some of the journaling die cut books, I pulled out some of my favorite sort of vintage ones. I think this was from a cut apart sheet from an earlier collection. This was also from a cut apart sheet. A little file folder card in cream. And these were some of the other die cut journaling books. I just like the colors. A little flag tag that I had left over from a package. Okay, and then I went and I have lots and lots of JBS stamps because they're awesome and amazing. But I almost have so many that I find it hard to choose. So I just chose out a few favorites, especially some that I haven't really used much yet. So this awesome Argyle stamp. And I'm thinking this is going to be great on a background. I really want to emboss it in heat emboss it in silver glitter. So I already have sort of a plan for that one. I just have to find the right layout to put it on. This awesome spool, spool of ribbon, this vintage sort of image um, that came in one of, it was an exclusive to a JBS Mercantile kit. And I stamped it to try it out and it's really, it's a really awesome stamp. So this is just stamped on just plain white cardstock with black hybrid ink. And I really love the way it looks. So looking forward to using that one. And then this year for CHA 2013, Jenny released a whole big extensive line of these little um, journal card stamps. So I just chose out two of my favorites. This one has an album cover and a little cabinet card. And this one um, is a dictionary, but it also has a text stamp. So I thought that um, I've used these on one or two layouts so far, but um, I thought these were versatile and would be fun to use. And I kind of like the way the cabinet card goes with the vintage cabinet card left over from the kit. So there I have some stamps. Oh, and one more stamp. I love this wheat flower stamp um, a lot, and I actually haven't used it yet. So my goal is to use this stamp. So my this is one of my priorities in putting together this kit was to use this stamp. And I will probably heat emboss it because I'm kind of totally in love with heat embossing right now. Okay, and then I went through and found some little embellishments. I have a cardstock feather. I like this one because it's somewhat neutral. Um, it's gray and white one side and navy polka dots on the other. And I have some vintage leaf pieces that came in one of the JBS Mercantile kits. And I will most likely either heat emboss these, probably in a neon color, or cover them in German glass glitter. But I'll just wait until I know I want to use it on a project rather than doing them all ahead of time. Okay, almost done. So I just picked out lots of little pieces that I thought were not too project specific and matched the colors of the paper in the kit that I chose so far. So I've really gone with pink, pink, red, and yellow, and then some neutrals, and a little tiny bit of um, teal. So I have a package of vintage buttons, true vintage buttons, some adhesive rhinestone stars. I couldn't find my silver ones, so if I find them, I'll probably end up substituting them in the kit for these black ones. I love these rhinestone embellished plastic um, bow embellishments, and I think I'll need to buy more of these. So I really like them, and I'm excited to use them. These awesome um, rhinestone buttons. These have pale blue rhinestone and a creamy button. 
some of Jenny's flat backs. I really like the star and the camera in this one and the clock. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to use those first. Chipboard stars are great for covering in pattern paper, heat embossing, misting on top of. Same thing with the chipboard feather pieces. Then I have these wonderful feather tags. Um, these are in shades of pale blue and white and then this lovely floral print that I think complement the colors and pulls out a little bit of the blue that I have in a few other pieces. And then a whole stack of rub-ons. Jenny has awesome rub-ons and I'm excited to use them. So gold feathers, you can see I've already cut these apart because I used them on some other projects and thought I was going to use them and I didn't so I just slipped them back in the package. Um, part of a silver rub-on that was the photo photographer's um, emblem or sort of like business card looking thing. I used half of it on another layout for layering. And I'll use the other half on another project. Gold numbered crowns. These push pins that I think are just so fun. You can see I've used them on several projects already. Some ledgers that are great for layering and in the background. I actually have about five packages of these because I found them very versatile. Silver feathers. And then again, another one of her new releases, rub-ons with these awesome mason jars that I've been pulled out for lots of projects but haven't actually used yet. Some labels and stars and hearts, so I'm pretty excited about using this kit. And actually, before I had a chance to film the kit contents, I actually got so excited and inspired that I started working on this layout. So this is kind of half adhered together and about three quarters of the way done. This is basically what it's going to look like. I used one of those little vintage feather pieces and I covered it in German glass glitter and painted the stem white and tied a little bit of vintage string around it. And here's one of those little bows and one of those blue feather tags. And I used some of the cut apart card in the yellow, that pale yellow from the new release. I used a little ledger piece of paper that actually tucked in upside down. Because um, I found when I put it in this way, the account forward and the date and the number were really obvious. So when I put it in this way, I still had the visual effect of the cool ledger and the vintage kind of look, but it was less legible. Um, which I thought worked well for this picture of Ruby Sky. Oh, and I also pulled out two exclusive um, stencils, masks, from the Jenny Bolin Mercantile kit. So on this page, I use this one that kind of looks like a lacy, um, I don't know, kind of reminds me of like an eyelet lace kind of pattern. Um, and I just placed it randomly and missed it. And then I also have this diploma seal one that I like quite a bit that I've used before. And a nice zigzag chevron pattern. So that's my kit. I am going to add in mists and glitter and ink as I see fit. Um, right now I'm leaning towards silver and gold glitter and some pale pastel mists and also some neon embossing powders. So we'll see how all this kit comes together and hopefully I'll have a few layouts to show you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!